Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and welcome to the bonus episode for Fire Emblem Awakening. So, yes, we basically completed the whole game apart from Apotheosis. I've explained on multiple occasions that I do not feel ready, and this it would probably delay the Let's Play for a while uh, for that. But yeah, Apotheosis is definitely going to be done at a later point, but it's going to take a lot of grinding and getting everybody into at least mac like capped stats, because... These guys are nothing to scoff at, like none of them, so we're going to have to basically level up and max out a lot of our units, and especially give them some crazy good skills. And by crazy good skills, I mean make everybody into our Dark Flyer, give them Gale Force, and also give everybody Counter as well by making them like a, a hero or warrior. Or actually, I think, a, yeah, I think it's a warrior. Kind of like Basilia's class. But uh, yeah... The bonus video that I actually wanted to show off was something else, so uh, we'll actually just check our bar barracks one more time. Towering bow. Okay, we got Virian here. So yes, this will probably be like one of the last few times we ever check here. Uh, I am probably gonna have like a little bonus video of getting uh, any supports that I wanted to show off. If you guys are interested in that, I will probably show that off. Uh, as well. So yeah, expect two future bonus videos where I cover Apotheosis and I cover some supports I really wanted to show off. Now, as for the thing that I, I actually wanted to show off, we're going to save right here and we're actually going to reset. Because I wanted to show you my original profile. Now we saw a little glimpse of it when, uh, when I accidentally messed up, uh, Gangrel's uh, para uh, paralog, so I could show out how to recruit him. I believe this is it. Now I haven't really unlocked everything, or have like have like the best or like well most well equipped units and whatnot. But yeah, this is my original profile. Well, not profile, but my first ever playthrough of Fire Emblem Awakening when I first got the game. I still have some ch ch child units I still need to rescue as well. Uh, and I do have some interesting characters here. I guess I never really gave them the uh, second seal to really lower them. I just kept them like that. Now, let's see here. Uh, I actually made Cordelia into a Falcon Knight instead. Which is kind of crazy. And I'm going to check who I gave. Okay, obviously I kept Sumia the same... Henry obviously still did with Farja. I made Cherche with Frederick. Okay, interesting. Panning with guys, so I kept that from my original one. Monku with Olivia, I kept that. I uh, supported Kiki, yes. And Tiki and Morgan's now a little dragon, so if you get right, I remember that episode. And Vake and Lissa are also paired up again. I didn't pair up everybody. As you can see, I still have every child unit unlocked. Uh, as for who's Lauren's parents? Rickon and Muriel. Oh, wow, I actually made Muriel and Rickon. Okay, so I did, a. Uh, so I changed that one up. And, I put, oh yeah, I had Gregor with Noe. And, I don't see anybody else. Oh yeah, I was going to have Virion with Sully, which would be pretty funny, honestly. And, well, I, well, I was, but they're not at a, at a, at a, a support quite yet. Let's see who else. What other females are we missing? We've got Severa. Oh, we got Mox Aurelia. She's with Stahl. That was my first one with Cordelia. Wow, and I gave her this one I gave her Virion. So it turned out differently. And yeah, I think that's it. Wow. Now, as for some other stuff. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna check on the brackets here, because obviously or barracks here. Uh, there's some stuff, obviously, this game also has its own, uh, stuff I could get. Let's see the, uh, how much, we have very low round. Uh, bonus maps, we've already got them all. Bonus challengers. I, th I don't think we ever actually uh, did this. We got these challengers into double duel. Uh, I believe you have to go to here. Create a room. Oh, I guess not. 
Okay, you need to have someone here. I don't have a second 3DS to really show this off for a second. I will copy it Awakening to show it off. So I'll probably put a link down below and show you what Double Duel is, is like. I uh, actually do want to see... Can we replace the ports? I don't think we can. Actually, well, we have to reset again. Hold on. I'm going to save. Yeah, I just want to show off uh, everybody here. Let's save real quick. And I don't want to reset because I wanted to show potentially a support for uh, the S support for Robin and Tiki. Because that's actually what I want to show quite a bit. Because I showed you guys that I S support here. I felt like it was the most somatic since, you know, Robin and Tiki both come from, like, you know, they're both tied to a dragon. They're both opposites of each other in a way, but they both desire a similar thing. Robin doesn't want to be the vessel and wants to wants there to be peace. He doesn't want to be the vessel of Grima, and Tiki wants to peacefully see and live uh, with her friends. And he's also, like, you know, the daughter of Naga. She is the voice of Naga. And we can see, obviously, here's the extras. You can see all the previous cutscenes that we went through. All the way to Grima's return. Yeah, Fader Clash. So yeah, all the way from start to finish. And now you'll see from the bottom screen as well. You can also check the support log. So this is where you would check all your supports. Obviously, I not I wasn't going to check on all of them. Yeah, everybody has their own conversation with female Morgan. And obviously, we don't have male Morgan. That's the only one that's kind of missing because I never really picked female Robin. Surprisingly, wait, oh, Priam has an extra combo with someone on white. What? Interesting. So now the hub tester here. Uh, you can pick one profile and you could, uh, these are for amusement purposes only to see their true emotion. So, like, let's say we put Krom and Robin together. Friend zone would give anything. Yeah, one of them is for a heartbreak. So, yeah, you could test this more so for fun. It's not, like, actually going to uh, involve anything. Uh, let's do Severa and Lucina. Why not? Feels ignored, wants to snuggle. <laughs> so yeah, you could do this with a whole bunch of you. It's kind of like uh, that one thing from Tamadachi, like if you guys ever played that, like where they uh, test like the love or friendship between characters. Uh, you can also see the unit gallery, which will give you a full 3D model of everything. You could change the backgrounds of everything. You can also change the soundtrack, which you have everything here. Wow. ID Purpose, ID Beginnings. And also, a lot of the soundtracks are actually named after quotes from the game. Like, uh, let's see here. The Vake Never Forgets, I just don't always remember. I believe that is from when he forgot his axe. And, uh, yeah. Monstrosity. This is, uh, I believe the theme for, uh, what's his face? Oh my god. I was gonna say Gangrel, but it's obviously not Gangrel. It's, what's his face, uh... Oh my god, I have his name at the tip of my tongue. Oh, Validar, yeah. So, for Va that's Validar's theme. And actually, this theme also plays in Shadows of Valentia when, uh, a secret Act 6 boss. So it's like a super boss in a way. It's kind of crazy. Gods have arisen spread this far. So, yeah, the, the, a lot of these songs are, uh are basically from quotes throughout the game. Yeah, there's also a lot of iconic songs as well. You may call me Marth, this is when you obviously meet Lucina for the first time as Marth. And also the Ablaze themes. Conquest of Blaze is easily one of my favorite tracks in the game. Also, Chaos of Blaze is honestly really intense. I really love that too. Champion of Blaze is great too. A lot, of, like I really like how Fire Emblem does it. Like whenever you get into a, a fight with someone, the Blaze portion plays, but like when you're in the map, the regular theme plays. So it's pretty cool. And obviously the backdrop you can change as well. Let's put it the fort. You can change it up to anything. Got Harper as well. Wow. Sun Sunset Beach. And they really uh, planned this out. Wow, that looks really... That's honestly very pretty for uh, 3DS graphics. The military. You got a lot of places throughout the game. Even some random places as well. You can obviously 
be around and change the camera angles, have different actions being done. Honestly, really cool. And you can change the voice settings to Japanese to English. So we could honestly change it to uh, have Matt Mercer and uh, the others not be our voices instead of the Japanese voice actors. Now we can also check the support log. Here we go, Robin and Tiki's S support. I wanted to read this. Robin? So, you're not going to call me Marmar after all, huh? I much prefer Robin, don't you? Yes, of course I do. It's just that, well, I have no family here, nor memories of a family. When you called me by a nickname, the truth is, I rather liked it. Even if it's was someone else's nickname. I understand, and I considered it. There's only one Mon Ma, and that was Moth, the great king of ages past. Yes, well, fair enough, I suppose. I'm hardly qualified to fill his shoes. And there's one more reason I cannot call you by that name. And that is? Yes. Because you too are a singular spe and very special man to me. You are the man with whom I've fallen in love. T Tiki? That is why I, you must be, Robin. Phew, what a relief. I thought you were going to say it's because I reminded you of someone else. <sighs> Don't be upset. Truth is, I've been hoping against hope that we might be together, but dare not ask. Why not? Well, you looked for a millennia. Seeing the legendary heroes with your own eyes. You knew the legendary king, the hero king Marth himself, but compared to him, what am I? I felt that I had to be as great as him, as mighty and powerful. Otherwise, you couldn't help but find me lacking in comparison. Oh, Robin! Are my fears truly groundless? Can I allow myself to love you? Of course, Robin. And the two of us shall... Build a new world of peace. Oh, Robin, that's what I want us as well. Such an adorable final line. Such years make an eternity worth living. It's... Also kind of sad, because Tiki does outlive basically everyone. It is, it's pretty sad, but it's also very heartwarming. Yes, and you could basically see every single S-Support uh, with anyone. See their S-Support image is for with any of your females, if you have male Robin, and S-Support image is with any male with female Robin. There is actually a few that are pretty funny, and I believe Aversa has her shoving Robin into her chest. Which is pretty funny. Uh, obviously, a lot of them are very adorable. They definitely look, you know, honestly, especially Tiki's. I, I when, when I saw, it, I fell in love with it. It's why I, I considered doing Tiki twice, but I wanted to change it up a bit. And I did consider, I, I did eventually slowly fall in love with uh, Shershe, so I decided to stick with her. Now I don't believe there are any other extras. We have uh, we checked the support log, the data gallery. We already did spot pass in the game. Obviously, white ball data. We're not going to do that. So yeah, I believe that is everything. That is all the extras. So yes, thank you all so much for watching Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, I guess these are just going to be some final words about this let's play. This has been a huge passion project because I've always wanted to do Fire Emblem for quite some time. Uh, I decided to pick Awakening because it just felt like a perfect intro to the series, and also because it was the series savior. It basically brought a whole new renaissance for the series, and it kept it alive. And it still is alive to this very day. It's been very successful, especially with Fates, Shadows of Lentia, Three Houses, Heroes, and Engage. Especially, like, the, the, the other two there, Heroes and uh, Three Houses. They've done the franchise some big numbers that you never expected 
uh, those two games to do. And also the previous games as well have been getting a lot of light because of Awakening and its successors. So yes, without this game, I felt like there was was a point to really start anywhere else. Uh, but yeah, I know I tried to start Fates, but I felt I just did not feel motivated to do that. I felt like it wasn't a good starting point. I just felt like it was a little bit not too beginner friendly for a viewer trying to get into Fire Emblem. I mean, obviously I could have picked the Birthright route, but I wanted to start off with Conquest, so there was that. Uh, and also, obviously, there's the problem with three routes in that game. Do I do all three? Do I only do Conquest? Do I only do uh, Birthright? Do I only do Revelations? That's another problem in itself, which is kind of why I didn't want to do three houses either, because I want to have a solidified route that I love the most, and I want it to be the route I do, because but then again, I also do want to cover the other routes, so yeah, there's that too. Uh, also, the older Fireman games, I also want to do Path of Radiance. That's also a very good game to start with. Uh, Awak uh, not Awakening. I, I said Awakening is a very good one to start with, but I was talking about other ones. Uh, the original Fire Emblem, the first one that came to uh, the West, which is Blazing Sword, with Lynn Hector and Ellie Wood. Uh, that one's also a good one to start with. Sacred uh, Stones is also a really good one to start with. But I kind of felt like Awakening was just perfect. They introduced you to a lot of, uh, to like the most some of the most famous faces in the franchise. Uh, it also kind of gives you a little bit of touch-ups into like his the history of the, the whole lore, in a way, because you have all these characters that are related to these heroes in the past. And also, if you're coming from a Smash Brothers perspective, uh, this game, you should already know some of the characters already because of Smash, but this introduces you to that there's more than just, you know, swords and Fire Emblem. There's a whole set of lore and stories and characters and their relationships the whole gameplay perspective too is like just really uh it's such a really cool concept and that's what i also really like about fire emblem is that it has such like replayability it's like you can marry anybody to have like different uh supports to see to look through uh there's multiple different uh classes that you could try out you know, go crazy, like, have something unique and new. Which is why I wanted to start with this one. It's the second time I'm beating it, and it's the second, first time I'm ever, you know, doing all the DLC and everything. I did it on a harder difficulty, too. I decided to do one hard because I wanted to have a little bit more of a challenge, and I also did want to show that I was willing to strategize and build my units. It's something that I've started doing in fi other Fire Emblem games, too. Like, Heroes and Three Houses and Engage. Those games have definitely bought up a lot of building. I haven't really tried in Fates yet, and uh, somewhat I did in Shadows of Blood, yeah, but I still have to beat Act 6 in that. But yeah, uh, Awakening, this, pro pa this was a passion project again. I know we've been doing quite a few passion projects, and oh boy, the next one is not a passion project. It's just something I really wanted to do, just something a bit more laid back, and I hope you guys are ready for that announcement within the next couple of days. Uh, I'm really excited for that. As for future Let's Plays after that, uh, there were some plans change. There were some plans change because of certain announcements. I really wanted to switch up uh, the order of some of the games I was thinking. I'm having a little bit struggling after my 30th Let's Play uh, of what to do. But, yeah, as for that, I already know that my next two Let's Plays after, like, 29 and 30 specifically, I already know what they are. Uh, I already have those set in stone. But, yeah. As for this Let's Play in general, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, there were some parts that really felt like demotivating, especially like setting up everything. Uh, I cannot wait for my 3DS capture card. Uh, shout out to Loopy. Uh, so yeah, this is the last video I'm doing like this, which is pretty crazy. And I can't wait to actually have like an actual setup uh, when I, whenever I do my next 3DS or DS Let's Play. I cannot wait. And I hope you guys will uh, enjoy seeing that, because I really wanted to always do a, like three more 3ds ds like just handheld let's plays in general but this uh this is what always held it back in a way which is uh always a little bit of a struggle because i always have to set up and get the right camera angle like not every video has like the same like size uh that i really want for either the top or bottom screens and uh yeah uh i can't wait for that so if we ever do our future fire let's play like Chaz of Valentia or, or Bates, I would obviously do it on here. Maybe I might even uh, do 
the uh, capture card. I might actually even do uh, Apotheosis and the supports on my capture card, or maybe even like live stream Awakening, like a brand new playthrough, maybe on a harder difficulty, or maybe just going through the game casually and just playing on normal just to beat it again. And just, just have new relationships and everything. <sighs> but yeah, I am just really excited for what this has to hold in. This has been such a fun game that, that I've uh, been let's play. And just in general, I've been really enjoying like coming up with all these like different strategies. I know some of them are pretty uh, overpowered and basic, like the double gale force. But I was like, wow, I, this is like the first time I ever completed a map in two turns like that. Like, just going right in like that. And I feel like it could have been one had we gotten luckier if uh, we pushed uh, Severo and Cordelia even further. But, yeah, two turning like that, like, I wasn't expecting that. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a blast. This has honestly been a blast. I and mean, Fire Emblem is one of my favorite series of all time. And uh, I hope that I was able to share my passion and... Uh, love for the series through this Let's Play. And I honestly, if I, whenever I do Fire Emblem again, I'll probably have a lot more passion and love uh, for that one too. So yes, we shall see you guys next time. Peace.